Good evening, viewers. It's time for a uh, subscriber spotlight. This week features Tencent and Perino in the AMX 50B. It's a bit later than usual, but uh, I think from now on I'm probably going to go to not doing it on Monday and Tuesday, like every week. I'll probably have some later in the week. Um, so, just to clarify, for the time being, I am going back to the old format, hence why there's just a replay. Um, being viewed without live streaming, so there's that. In case you were wondering, that's what's going on for now. Anyways, so right away he's going up to the um, the little uh, like B3 spot, C3 spot, somewhere in there. Kind of takes a bit of a risk there. Um, he went to the further route instead of taking the uh, the shorter one, which is safer. And he got spotted, but. It didn't cost me HP, so it kind of paid off. And he puts two into the 140 tracks, it, it repairs, and then he misses the third shot. So, um, he's seeing if it, he's going to have a shot on it. He most likely won't. And 1390 is on the cap. He's about to get spotted by the E75. He saved that one shell. And aim puts it into the 1390, stopping the cap and taking some damage from it. Or some HP out of it. So, now he's on reload. And his team has a lot of tanks here, actually, which is uh, kind of surprising. And they also have two tanks in the cap for some reason, uh, which is stopping the cap. But at the same time, you probably could find a better use for the E75 than being in the cap. Um, so he's moving up, seeing if he has any shots on anyone. And suddenly he spots a Jag Panzer. He does not want to take a hit from that. Uh, it would be really bad to take a hit from that, because then it would kind of force him to play a bit more uh, passive, per se, considering you most likely lose half of his HP with one shot. So he's moving forward a little bit. He kind of has to spot the Jag Panzer to figure out where it is, due to the fact that his heavies are stuck around the corner and hiding. He tracks the Jack Panzer, puts one into the drive wheel, another into the drive wheel, puts fourth one in, and he gets it in. Alright, so now this is where it gets interesting because he's reloading, so he has to hope his team can actually finish off the Jack Panzer. And the Centurion drops him a little bit. Though, to be fair, he kind of turned into the Centurion a little bit there. Uh, there's that. The VKB rolls forward, kills the Jack Panzer. He's almost reloaded. Now, there's a T-54 there, and not quite reloaded, could have taken a hit there potentially, but uh, luckily it misses. So now he's trying to see if he's a shot in the uh, 1A3, however, the 1A3 appears to be looking at him, so that's a bad idea, because he could potentially get one shot by it, or if not one shot, really badly hurt in the process. Tracks the IS-8. And puts one to the T4, avoids the shot, and puts his last shot to the uh, IS-8. Narrowly avoiding Ari, uh, and now he's reloading again. Already firing yet again, due to the fact that it's auto-loaded. Because, you know, reasons. So, they still have the T-57 down there, the T-54 is overwatching it. IS-8, I'm assuming, has backed off due to the damage he sustained. He misses the team in some cases and hits the There's the ball. There's two left in the chamber. IS-8's moving forward. Mm, decides not to do that. And now he's going for the uh, T-54. T-54, surprisingly enough, is also going for him. And he does finish it off. Thanks in part due to his ally team kind of shot into it right before. Otherwise, he would have gotten who have needed a really high roll. The FV, the enemy FV-215B is now flanking around. So, he could potentially go to the left and just go head on towards it. Instead, he's going to go around it, try catching it by surprise, and, you know, get shots into the weaker armor, most likely. The Allied E-100 is finally loaded into the game. The 215B is already turning around. 
tracks him. There's another into him before the arty finishes it off. So back on reload. Now he could have gone back up to the top. He instead he's gonna go down the low path. Now if he's trying to catch him by surprise, he has to make sure he doesn't drive into the trap or track himself. Uh, Generally speaking, you know, you expect light tanks to do that, not heavy tanks, but, uh, you know, whatever. He repaired it, at least, I suppose. So, the T-30 is spotted. He has a shot on him. It's one into him. Two shots into it. That one fell for no damage, somehow. And, Reloading. The walking trigger is right there. And you can tell his initial plan is to go around this little uh, hill here and pop up over there. However, the walking trigger is going to make it pretty easy for him and just back up towards him, trying to escape all these tanks and forgetting there's a tank down there. So he's just gonna one kill. Can he kill it? Nope. Alright. The U100 actually kills it. Spread. So, he has three in the chamber. I'm assuming he's going to go for a reload, potentially. Maybe not. Alright. Full health Waffle Trigger. Spotted on the hill. Put one into him. Put two into him. He can. Now, he has a choice here. He could go for a reload. Potentially not be reloaded in time to put more damage into it or get a kill. Or, he could save that round and... Just try getting that one shot damage. And going by the fact that he's not reloading at this point, I'm gonna go with the. Uh, you know, he's gonna hope to get a shot of damage in there. And then uh, pretty much hope his team can kill it or that they push onto it before he shoots it. So the Waffle Trigger kills the Allied RU251. His team's leading 13 8, so this game's pretty much over. Um, the Waffle Trigger is not going to carry. It's pretty much a given. Get the shot count. Puts it into him. Can he ran in it? Yes! Okay. So he gets the kill. And he got one shot damage into it. Now, the question is, can he reload in time to kill Artie? Or will Artie kill him because it's Artie? Also, the other question is, will Artie be trying to kill itself? You know, either by hitting itself uh, by shooting into a mountain or drowning itself. So, you know, there's that. Hasn't found it up here, so it's either on this road or it's driving off the cliff into the water as we speak. Oh, wow! Okay. He's not actually trying to run, and he runs to death. Nearly getting killed by his own arty, because, you know, why not? So, on to the after battle result. Okay, so Ace Tanker, Hand of God, Bruiser, Duelist, Fighter, Fire for Effect, no real point for any of these medals by the way, uh, Confederate, High Caliber, Tank Sniper, and uh, let's see how he did. So top damage, 10k damage, uh, 4 kills, 1519 experience, that's not bad at all. Uh, quite a few medals as you already saw. Um, his team wasn't that bad actually um a lot of people got over a thousand damage that's a good thing uh they had a couple zero damages uh both of them tier nines which is usually a bad thing um because you know even though it's a tier 10 game a tier nine can easily make a difference so when you have two of your tier nines doing no damage um in quite a few games that can actually affect the outcome obviously not in this one uh as they won um, the enemy team, they had quite a few high damage players, but, you know, again, a lot of people over a thousand damage, quite a few under a thousand as well though, and then they also have two zero damages, they're scout tanks though, um, I'm not really sure what they were doing, the 1390 was in the cap, I know that, uh, didn't pay any attention to the T49, so I have no idea what he was doing, he fired 29 shots, 27 hit the target, 26 penetrated, 10k damage, only 3k Almost 3k. Um, 
at 300 meters or further, which is not bad. Um, I think most of most of that was on the uh, T30. Uh, took two hits, both penetrate. Fifty B doesn't really have armor. Uh, took one splash damage. I don't even think it splashed him for any damage, but whatever. Uh, spotted four enemies. Uh, damaged eleven enemy vehicles. Destroyed four. Got two thousand sixty eight assistance. And uh, lost th thirty seven thousand one hundred fifty seven credits. Uh, with all the gold ammo he was firing and all that good stuff. Uh, 5,000 5, experience, um, which is not bad. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm pretty sure if you watched up to this point, Tank Sniper is probably enjoying the video because he's been pestering me for the past, like, four months to upload the video. Uh, so, here you go. I finally up uploaded it. There you go. You happy now? Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And uh, thank you for watching.